Yeah, well, hello. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, this is kind of a little bit different. Uh, we're looking at the Electroharmonics, I was going to say Pog, that's wrong. It's the Hog 2! The Hog! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's called the Hog. Let me check if my camera's rolling. Yes, it's rolling, and that's rolling, and everything's rolling. Awesome. Um, a lot of you ha know the Pog. It has become kind of this elusive, weird pedal that does crazy shit that a lot of us have on our boards. Um, the POG2, I've got it next door, I'm shipping it back to Toman, I've tested it for them. It's about this big, and um, it's a very cool pedal that does octaves, and then you can say, um, you know, how, how much, uh, how fast do they uh, fade in, is there a filter on them, and does it affect the original signal? It's a relatively straightforward pedal compared to the POG2. But when I tested the Pog, I didn't have the Hog. So I was like, oh, it would be cool if it did this, it would be cool if it did this, and it would be really cool if you could do this with an expression pedal. And then I got the Hog, not the Pog, and I was like, hey, it does all this. So it's pretty much the Hog on, <coughs> the Pog on steroids um, at kind of almost the same price, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm seriously thinking that this pedal has been under demoed, let's put it this way, that it hasn't been shown appropriately, and I'm gonna try to show it appropriately, let's find out. Um, I studied synthesis, music th th synthesis, uh, or also called sound design, so I know a little bit about how things go on keyboards and twiddle with nibby knobs. How cool is this color combination? Not cool, I know. Um, anyway, so, uh, Synthesis usually works like this. Analog or subtractive synthesis works like this. You have a really big sound, a lot of frequencies. A sawtooth wave, a square wave has a lot of frequencies, a lot of harmonics, and then you use filters to reduce those. So you start with a lot and you take away, you subtract. Now, um, then a very rare form on synthesizers is additive synthesis, because it's complicated. What happens there is you add harmonics. Every note has, you know, harmonics, uh, overtones. So this E has this octave, and then a fifth, and then another octave above that, and then a, a third? That's another, I'm going to say fifth, I don't know. Minus seven is somewhere. Those are the natural tones that every note has. That note has natural overtones. Just how loud they are, the, the, so the mix level of those is different. And when they come in, it might be that my fundamental, the lowest note is there immediately and then the others kind of come in slowly so oh, they might be going crazy and doing mixing at the sorry um, at the same time a violin maybe there's like the high harmonics coming in first and then the roundness comes in all this determines how a sound sounds um, now what we can do on the hog is this we have these higher harmonics right here in the middle. We also have two lower octaves. And you pretty much can bring those in to generate a synthetic kind of sound, which is pretty much your guitar sound pitched. It's a pitch generator, but it's using those natural harmonics. Now, it comes with this amazing, uh, I, I, amazing. I saw this in, in pictures and I was like, come on, this is stupid. Expression pedal, just like you're floating around. It works really well. It's it's a cool pedal. It's actually something that, that is useful. But you can't put it on your pedal board because it's free-floating. And when you play around with it, you're kind of, you know, slipping, sliding around. So it's, it's a different kind of expression pedal, let's put it this way. It's not bad in its functionality. It's just different. And it comes with it. That's crazy, okay? It's included. That thing is like 70 bucks by itself. So we're going to gonna show you a few things here. Envelope is off, filter all the way up. 
So we're going to go from left to right and I'm going to show you some functions of the hot two. So here's my setup. I'm going to go a little bit cleaner. I have my Angelico EXDC. What a fucking great guitar. My SS is back there. Awesome. That's a good guitar for what, 1500 bucks. Pretty much as good as an ES type guitar will ever get. And a cool color. Um, if, if, if you didn't hear this because you're not a bat, and a cool color. That's what I said. So that's going into the hog. That's going straight into the Mesa Boogie Mark 525 on clean right now. Going down to the basement into a 112, which is a Fender cab. Mic with a Sennheiser E609. Going up here into the Apollo. And then nothing's on there. Straight into Cubase. <laughs> I've got some goodies in the effects loop, uh, some striving stuff, so we have some effects because dry, hmm, but effect, hmm, you know, hmm, hmm. For the Toman video, I had to do it all dry, which was like kind of falling short of its potential. So here's what happens we have them. Meon. I am in the middle of filming the Hawk video. You are in it now. No, 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 no one can hear. This is a Mayon from Toman who's calling me in the middle of the Hawk 2 video for reasons that are unbeknownst to me, people. Okay, um, I'm going to talk to him for a sec. You wait. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, that's that's my day. Um, where was I? Yeah, we have master out. Nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, because it's not on. Uh, <laughs> I turn it on. I hear nothing. Nothing. That's from Hogan's Heroes. You are too young for that. Nothing. I say nothing. No, I know nothing. I know nothing. Here he always said the German. So, uh, master out is for everything. So now I can pretty much just mix in my guitar signal. I assume that when you use the dry output, you can actually go dry to an amp and have the hog signal going to something else, your PA, filters, another amp, stereo amp, whatever you want. But the dry output will actually go straight to your amp, which is always cool, but I'm not using that. I'm using straight through everything. So you have this mix for how much your dry signal will be in there. So there's another original fader. The dry signal that you mix in here will never be affected at all. It is always going to be out dry, coming out dry the way it is now. <laughs> but when you slide up the original here, for now, it will sound exactly the same. No, it does not. Oh, wait. I'm going to pull my expression pedal out. So right now, it should sound... That doesn't sound quite the same music because it's going through the engine. But it's the same pitch in all this. Can say. Now, let's go through the lower part. There's a lower and a higher part. I can mix in a, uh, two octaves below for the official tuba part. Awesome. Or of course, for Swedish death thrash grind chord. I don't know. Um, so you have the octave below, just ignore me. So 
So that sounds kind of, you know, not authentic, but it's, you don't want the original guitar single, you want something synthetic. <laughs> And here's our original. And now actually with the original. Pretty damn cool. So we now go into those harmonics that I was talking about. We're doing additive, additive synthesis, but I bring in the original signal just a bit. So we have a fifth now that we can bring in. So you could actually, which I've done in the track that you've heard, do power chords. Bring in an octave above. So for a full power chord, you bring in the original in those two, and you got. Which works actually really well if you're get, uh, giving it some gain. <sighs> It actually kind of sounds like an angry power chord, like like a cat playing a power chord, like yeah, 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 I got this guy to eyes out power chord, that kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. Back to the series review. Okay, uh, here we have an octave and a fifth, which would be the next thing. So it's not both. It's actually it's a fifth and octave above. We have two octaves. Which is where the chip monkey kind of minions come in. Now we have two octaves and a third. I, I, it is pretty much just those overtones that we were talking about, those harmonics. You have to be careful with this one because if you mix it in too much, you will always have that major third, which of course can be a problem. You have to be very subtle, kind of, you know, trail it off this way. You know, be, well, you do whatever you want, obviously, but if you want to be, you know, realistic. This is not intelligent pitch shifting here, so just remember that. Three octaves and now four octaves, which is just... I, I can't hear that anymore because I'm, I'm too old. Okay, so here's what's ha what happens. Is you have this envelope which you can use if you want to, or not, and you have this filter. Let's look at the filter first. How about that? So I'm gonna make a sound here with my original an octave below. A little bit of this. Fat fundamental, that's what I want. We add in a little bit of fifth. A little bit more octave. Not so much of the fifth. Very, care very careful with those very high octaves. That's still a very playable sound, let's call it that. It's like a huge 12 string. That's something you gotta. Uh, it's not digital as far as I understand, so you can full. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, what do I know? But it is polyphonic. You can play this with chords. And this is 
also the way that organs work. Those pulley things on organs, they add harmonics. It's, it will uh, oftentimes sound like an organ. So what you can do now is this filter right here. It affects all the higher ones, everything that is to the right of that H line, of the original line. Actually, I think it affects everything. What do I know? And that's something on the park that I really wanted. I wanted the waka 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 sound. Which you couldn't do because it doesn't have an expression pedal input. Now, now how steep that filter is your resonance, or also Q. You uh, use, you know, the resonance for that. So it's kind of like a wah. It, it, the frequency gets narrower, narrower. And that filter you can control with the expression pedal. Now let's try this. So you plug in the expression pedal, you pick filter, and there you are. I go down. Apparently, ah, let's try it again. Now, how cool is that? Imagine we have some delay on that. Well, don't imagine it. Let's put some delay on that. Um, with more mix and a lot of feedback. And then we have this. That's pretty freaking awesome. Let's try this with some crunch. Freaking awesome! If you want to be extremely mean, you can be. I'm back. Okay. And that is the actual filter. You can do a wah setting. Which is set at different frequencies. So, if you don't want the filter to be in there, Frequency all the way up, resonance all the way down, you can't turn it off. But then oftentimes those high frequencies can get quite annoying. So let's try to get them in quite a bit. But I use the filter to get that harshness down. Haha. 
I can't, because... <laughs> I have the expression pedal connected, which is a bummer. There's probably a way around this, but I don't know how. Ah. What am I doing? Hello? Ah. Careful where the expression pedal thing is. Now with those high harmonics, we very clearly get into organ territory. I'm trying to come up with an organ donor joke. Not happening. No, no, not happening. Organ donor, if I give this to you, then I'm an organ, no. Hey, I tried, okay? So, um, let's come up with something else. No original. Let's talk about the spectral gate. What that's supposed to do is clean out your guitar signal so it's easier to work with and um, kind of make it sound a little bit less like a guitar so that what comes out is cleaner. But... <laughs> Works a little bit. So. Let's add some nice delay to that, and let's add the El Capistan too, just for shits and giggles. Now, would it be cool if that faded in a little bit? Yes. So I use my envelope, I go to the upper, and I reduce the attack. How cool is that? Now how nice would it be if that faded in behind my original signal? Well, that's easy. So it, it now kind of sounds like as if my note is in Obertöne umkippen, that's what we say in German, is, um, you know, turning into those, those harmonics, like when you have nice drive. Let's try that with some drive here. application for that. I'm gonna turn these off again. See what else we can come up with. Um, obviously if you wanted to just a lower octave. Cool. Um, let's do the fifth and another fifth and a little bit of that octave. <laughs> slowly fade those in.
let me show you some stuff that is very cool with the envelope. So let's say I want the lower ones to be really slow. So here they are fading in, but then fading in quite loud. The higher ones will be very short. They have a very short attack. We're gonna do this without the delay first. So you can hear that the higher ones Kind of like a click on a keyboard. Click, click, click. So you have an attack, but no more than that. And then underneath the attack, we're gonna fade in some serious low endage. So you hear the, da, 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 you hear the melody, but you have this thickness which comes in later. those higher ones give you that, that delay. So if you turn this around, you have a short low end click and the high stuff is gonna fade in. will be gone quicker. Sorry if you ask me, that's freaking awesome. Um, so you can turn the en envelope off and then everything will just be there. There's my original. There's a million things you can do with this, obviously. Um, you could just, you know, ramp it up like this and be crazy. So let's go quickly. I got a student coming, so um, I need to get out of here. Let's go quickly into. It's gonna do a basic setting here. Whoa! what this thing in the middle can do. That can actually be an expression pedal, if you choose to. So whenever you push this, something that you select here happens if you don't have the expression pedal uh, hooked up. So it just goes up an octave. Or if you have the expression reversed, it should go down an octave. It's like a dive bomb. 
Very cool for step bends. <laughs> Obviously, if you, if you have the original in, you're going to have dissonance. Because it's not doing anything to that original. Volume, very cool. So it fades in your volume. Makes more sense with the expression pedal. Freeze is very cool. So let's, let's try this with, uh, with the hands. So it goes to the next chord, glissandos, swipes, slides to the next chord. Uh, kind of cool, much cooler with the pedal, of course. Uh, freeze and volume. Wah, 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 I don't know. Doesn't make super much sense to do that. Obviously, you can reverse it. So let's go and look at that with the expression pad, which of course is freaking cool. So I can see it, yes. Um, I of course have it kind of stupidly eh, with the cable. Okay, so we're gonna go to octave bend. Oh, did I have that reversed? Okay. I gotta make sure that I'm really all the way down in the back here. With the cable underneath, it's kind of a problem. I should have set this up another way. Whatever. <laughs> kind of like a whammy effect. Kind of cool. Step bend is obviously pretty cool. I would have to do this, be up here. Or... You get the general idea. Volume obviously is cool when we use it with the delays. Check this shit out. You have to play stuff that makes sense, not like what I just did. Very, very interesting for a studio producer like I am. So freeze. Kind of difficult to understand what happens. It freezes a sound. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. Wait. No. Uh, so here. When I'm down, I'm heel down, I can do anything I want. Glissandos into the next note, and then you heal, uh, when, when you toe down again, front, and what happens is uh, it freezes again. So in the back it slides down, in the front it freezes.
of cool. Imagine that with some cool lead sounds. Um, freeze in volume. What, what's happening here? So uh, you're gonna have to play with this. Wow, obviously way cool. Obviously it doesn't affect your original signal. filter is obviously the coolest. and children definitely a pedal that you're gonna have to spend some time with and be creative with if you're doing pop rock stuff you're doing neo prog definitely you're doing uh, well you know experimental stuff muse would love this thing they probably have five of them um, before I forget and I will forget if I don't do it now I just got a uh, comment today that uh, apparently in Poland there's a four-year-old girl who watches all my videos with her daddy. So I want to say hi to Sofia um, in Poland. Hey Sofia, who was very confused when I did my Beatles video and I had the wigs on and she apparently told her dad, that's not bald man, where's bald man? Um, so that's cuteness freaking, that's for you, um, overload Sofia. Oh my god, how freaking cute are you? Yes, it was Bald Man. And the, uh, you know, blue wig for the Miku pedal, that was me too. Uh, so, hi, Sophia. I hope you're having fun listening to crazy sounds with your daddy and learning some English in the process because uh, I don't know how to say uh, anything in uh, Polish except kurwa, which apparently is something bad. It's like shit or something. So, you didn't, you didn't hear that from me. Um, yeah. My two cents, guys. I know what you're gonna say. Do I really need this pedal? What, well, do we really need any pedal? No, we do not. These are luxury items, all of them. We do not need any distortion. We can live without pedals completely. We can live without guitars. All of these things are luxury items. This thing is fun. It comes with this thing and this thing, uh, and a, uh, which is typical for electroharmonics, they put uh, power supplies in almost every box. I mean, not all of them, but you know, a lot of them. Where other people sell you delay for 500 euro and don't give you a power supply, they do. So, um, comes with a power supply, all this kind of almost for the same price that a POG uh, will run you. So, the question is, 
do you need this? Why should I have this instead of the Pog? Well, the Pog is smaller. You have the Pog, the Micro Pog, the Mini Pog, the Super Mega Nano Pog. I don't know all these Pog Pogs. Pogs. Um, if you want the quick Poggy sound without a lot of headache, the Pog will give that to you. This takes some dialing in and stuff, but it's way cool. Obviously, if you want a, uh, an expression pedal that sits on your pedal board and doesn't flippy flop around, you need to get a different expression pedal. This is kind of cool for things. It's kind of cool. I mean, it, it really is. It works. Um, then again, with the cable on it and the power supply, if you're not using the built-in battery, um, the built-in battery, you know, if you're not using the battery, then uh, you're still kind of attached to something. So I'm not sure how amazing this concept is, but the point is it works and it's included kind of for the same price together that a Pog will run you. Um, what else was I was going to say? Well, yeah, you're going to say, well, but the Pog I can save and it has presets. Yes, for about 50 or 55 of the uh, bucks, you get a little box which plugs into the foot controller input and then you can actually save it just the same way that you save your settings on the park. So yes, this is progr programmable and probably with the MIDI, I have no clue. It is MIDI switchable, MIDI programmable, MIDI who knows what. I don't know what you can do with MIDI. Maybe you can even do filter sweeps with MIDI. No clue, but it's got MIDI and uh, it's got MIDI. Yeah, that tells you how prepared I am. I don't know what to do with MIDI, but you can do stuff with MIDI. Uh, you can definitely have presets on your pedal board. So if you're into crazy shit, this is way cool. It will use up quite a bit of space on your pedal board, but it only uses up 200 milliamps, um, which is pretty killer because almost every power supply can give you that. So um, for the ones that want the synthy kind of sounds, maybe organy kind of sounds, but don't want to go to the prefabricated C9, B9, whatever pedals, which are kind of cool. Um, this is a treasure trove of experimental odysseys. Way, way cool. The reason I'm doing this review is because I fell in love with it. And um, I got to talk to Electroharmonics now and see if they leave this with me, which, you know, will be cool. Check it out. Definitely worth it 360 bucks or whatever, because this is included. See you guys.